So yeah, let's solve the question. If M ratio N is equals to two number one over three ratio one o number one over five. So to solve this question see the see what I'll do here. So first change this two number one over three change it to improper fraction and one o number one over five. So we have M ratio N is equals two times three six plus this one seven so that is seven over three ratio one times five five plus one six so that is six over five now see what i'll do here so m ratio n i'll change everything here to whole number so what is the lcm of three and five the lcm is 15 that is 3 times 5 15 so now multiply each by that lcm so multiply this one by the 15 multiply this also by the 15 so that 15 is the lcm that is 3 and 5 so 3 times 5 15 so 3 l1 3 l Five, no three times five, fifteen. Three year one, and five year one, five year three. So m ratio n is equals to seven times five. That is thirty-five. Ratio six times three. That is eighteen. So that means this m ratio n equals to two number. 1 over 3 ratio 1 over number 1 over 5 is now m ratio n equals 35 ratio 18 so meaning i have changed this to this so it's the same so since it's objective even though it's theory so you can do the same thing to make your work easier and faster so again you just need to multiply each by the lcm so it's because we are explaining so it look longer but at least understand the procedure so now let's do the same thing for q so but if the question is given and is and is a um, o number direct so you don't have problem with that but if it is missed fraction or fraction so first change it to this form so to have a simple equation so that means M ratio N equals 35 ratio 18. So that I'll still need it. So now let's do the same thing for N ratio Q now n ratio q is equals to one whole number one over two ratio one whole number one over three so now change this one also to improper fraction so one times two two plus one three so this is 3 over 2 ratio again 1 times 3 3 plus 1 4 so 4 over 3 so n ratio q is equals to so what is the lcm of this 6 and uh, lcm is 6 because you have 2 and 3 so the lcm of 2 and 3 is 6 that is 2 times 3 6 just multiply so you are now multiplying each by that LCM so n ratio Q is equal to 2 year 1 2 year 3 3 year 1 
3 x 1 so 3 times 3 so that is 9 ratio 4 times 2 that is it so that means we have changed n ratio q to n ratio q is 9 over 8 so in simplest form that means n ratio q is equal to 9 ratio 8 so that means our question now so our question now is like if it's now like if m ratio n equals 35 ratio 18 remember we have changed that and n ratio q is equals to 9 ratio 8 find q ratio m so this is now what the question will look like so given so the solution now m ratio n equals 35 ratio 18 and n ratio q equals 9 ratio 8 so please see the method i want to use here so m ratio n ratio q so will be equals to please see the pattern see the pattern is very easy so m ratio n ratio q please study the pattern you know use this nine to multiply these two numbers so let's start nine times 35 so write that nine times 35 so ratio again the same nine so first nine times 35 uh -huh. again nine times 18 please follow the pattern nine times 18 ratio then you now move to 8 then 8 times 18 so 8 times 18 so this is m ratio n ratio q like that but what the question wants is q ratio m so q is the last one and m is the first one so q ratio m now is like saying 18 times uh, 8 as in like that so let's multiply now 9 times 35 and uh, you can reduce to the lowest term so let me just go straight to what i need q ratio m so q is 8 times 18 8 times 18 is Q. Ratio M. M is the first one. Ratio 9 times 35. So you will notice here that something can go in the two without remainder. So what can go in these two numbers without remainder? That is, you can reduce it to the lowest term. So 3 can go in 9. 3. Or 9 can go straight. So just say 9 here 1. 9 here 2. You know, that means 9 18 2. So that means Q ratio M equals 8 times 2. That is 16. ratio then it remains 35 that means q ratio m is 16 ratio 35 so the correct option is a so that's it